All right, so check this out. This is the latest Dragon OS Focal X ISO. I have it installed, just uploaded it today. Uh, what we're going to be able to do is take this Whisper CPP, which is uh, the port of OpenAI's Whisper model, and we're going to combine that with the uh, SDR for space. And RTL SDR, I've got a little um, transmitter here uh, that uh, I'm going to uh, talk through basically transmit FM and uh, we're going to capture that in real time with this automated script and turn what we capture into text. It's going to go into a job queue and it's going to turn into text. It, it'll make more sense once I once I show how to do this but it's all it's really easy and uh, also in Dragon OS is uh, the Mosquito MQTT broker. We're going to start that up because I have the service disabled by default so there's no uh, ports open unless you enable the service and uh, and then we're going to subscribe and we're going to see those messages uh, in real time uh, uh, well once they're um, once they're transcribed. Uh, okay so to do this I've got an RTL SDR plugged in. You can either go down to other and look for SDR for space which is going to open a directory and so what we want to do is uh, we'll navigate around here a little bit we're changing to Dragon OS RX DDC Whisper is the directory where all the magic happens Okay, so we're going to change into the DDC Whisper directory, and this is where all the magic happens. Uh, and we will use uh, sudo and gedit or nano, whatever you're comfortable with. We need to change some settings here. We've got our listening freak, which uh, you'll notice that the um, math is already done for you to take care of a shift to avoid the DC center spike. So what we need to just do is put the frequency that we actually want to monitor. In this case, I've got, uh, let me make sure, yeah, 435.050 megahertz. So I'll leave that as default. You can change your gain, threshold. Uh, by default, the use MQTT is on false. So I went ahead and changed that to true. You could change your destination directory if you needed to, which is where all the IQ WAV files and text files are, is going to go. I should point out too that not only is this going to transcribe messages, it's also going to make images of what the spectrum looked like when it captured uh, that uh, that transmission. So okay, so I've changed that to true. If you needed to change to something other than um, the RTL SDR, you could probably take a look in in the uh, MQ DDC uh, MQTT FM. Whisper JS. You'll see this is where all the MQTT stuff, the additional stuff is set up. But if you scroll down, you're going to find where the uh, driver is set for what device. In this case, the RTL SDR. You know, you could change that to other SOAPY devices. But let's just stick with the RTL SDR. All right, so that's really all we need to do to get set up there. The other thing we want to do is we'll do a sudo system control or CTL uh, start of the um, mosquito service here. Now you could also sudo systemctl enable which will then have that service running uh, after, you know upon each uh, a reboot it'll just be running so I'm gonna start it here. So now we have that started. Now all we have to do is do a sudo dot forward slash sdr uh, vm will do a dash h for help and I can uh, make this screen a little bigger dash H and all I'm looking to do is specify the working directory which is that Dragon OS RX DDC Whisper C I'll just hit tab one more time just to see what's in there because I'm gonna need that when I do a dash F for the script name and we want to do the DDC MQTT FM underscore Whisper dot JS we're gonna start this and then everything should be automated from here. I, I guess I'll also point out that um, in that DDC file uh, it starts up the um, start whisper. If you look at that start whisper file you can see where it's specifying a particular model 
What do I mean by that? So if we look in user source whisper CPP models, you'll see that I have the um, GGML tiny already there in Dragon OS. You can uh, read up on how to get uh, bigger models with this uh, script here and then you would just need to adjust the start whisper script to reference that bigger trained model but this small model seems to uh, be fine all right so check this out we're going to start this and so it's going to go through get a baseline and now it's going to be waiting for a signal and it's going to be uh, creating a job queue here so now uh, let's take another, let's open another window too. And we are going to uh, use this line here to basically subscribe to the uh, Mosquito or the MQTT server, which is running on 127.001. And then uh, that SDR station one whisper that was created. If you go look uh, in the scripts that I opened a second ago, you can see where that's created. So I'm going to subscribe to that. So let's see. Let's see what the best way to show is here. So, okay. So now I'm going to transmit and I'm going to say something. We're going to see on the left a kickoff and then it'll do its thing. It'll pull up whisper uh, transcribe and then we'll also see the messages in the mosquito uh, window on the right so let's go ahead and do this this is just a test one two three testing one two three and it might not have caught my entire transmission there because I kind of accidentally let go of the button but let's see what we get out of that Okay, so there we go. We can see on the left, it finished its job. It's going back. So let's let's try again, and we'll do a couple here. So let's see. Um, all right, so nothing like being right in the middle of the video, and the uh, the handheld battery it, uh, died is actually what died. So I've got it plugged in here. So let's do this again now. All right, this is a second test. Testing one, two, three. We'll let that process and I'll kick off another job. This whisper is uh, pretty incredible. Okay, so we got two jobs now processing here. So we'll see what happens with the uh, mosquito on the right. Okay, we got one of them complete. And let's let the the other one complete. All right, so there you go. So now, on top of that, if we go look in our um, temp directory, which is where everything is going by default, we can see that we have the CF32 files, we have the WAV files, we have the text file, which has the trans, uh, the transcribe, um, you know, wording in it, and we also have this PNG uh, snapshot uh, that that occurred too to all match. I don't know. I think that's. I think that's pretty incredible, one of the coolest things I've seen so far, and that is possible right out of the box with uh, Dragon OS Focal X and really an RTL SDR, and there you go. <clears throat> so, all right, uh, I think I covered everything. If there's any questions, ask in the, uh, the comments, and I'll try and clarify anything. So, all right, thanks. Have a great one.